SpaceX blast pass explosions to land a $2.9 billion contract. The Starship number 15 is about to blast off and there is crazy money to be made in this industry. And I'm gonna tell you how. It's about to get What's up, everybody? This is Titan, Titans of CNC, and it is vlog time. Boom, and trust me, this is gonna be a good one, all right? But before we get started, I just wanna remind you guys, if you guys have not subscribed to this channel, please do so now. Hit the like button if you love the video, and put your comments and questions down below. Boom, all right? You guys ready to go? So today is an exciting day here in Texas. We have the SN Starship number 15 on the landing pad ready to get the static testing done. It is Wednesday, April 21st, and it looks like it's about to go down, all right? And then when it comes to the launch, the launch could happen as early as tomorrow, all right? Now I get excited like a little kid because I've watched SpaceX from the very beginning, from the F-1 rocket to the F-9 rockets to taking our astronauts up to the space station, to the big vision with the starship and colonating Mars. We're sitting back and we're watching SpaceX and they're doing so many different things at the same time. But what I get excited about is the starship. The starship is changing the game. And from a manufacturing standpoint, it's truly extraordinary when you see starship number one, then two, then three, then four, then five. And you see these mammoth starships like sitting on that launch pad and blasting off and boom, these things explode, and then there's another one, and boom, they explode, and then there's another one, and boom, right? And then all of a sudden, Starship number 10 lands, pauses, mission complete, and blows up. 11 blows up, but guess what? SpaceX has created a rocket manufacturing engine, and they keep coming. So after the 11th, we've seen SpaceX has skipped 12, 13, and 14, and gone right to 15. Now across the board, SpaceX has actually upgraded the technology even to the Raptor engines. Everything is upgraded and I'm excited to see this launch. Now you have Starship number 15 on the launch pad. They're already building 16, 17, 18, boom, boom, boom. But if we actually take a step back and we look at other news, we see that SpaceX just landed the $2.9 billion lunar lander contract from NASA, $2.9 billion, which is just a small fragment of the bigger picture of $30 billion to take people to the moon. A lot of manufacturing is gonna take place on the moon. Look it up and research. There's some crazy things out there. We're going to mine asteroids. We're gonna mine the moon. There's water and ice on the moon and we know how to grab it now. So the whole world of space exploration is changing before our eyes. And we haven't even talked about the ultimate goal of colonating Mars. Now you look at the world of aerospace and a lot of people look at aerospace and they think airplanes, but the world is changing. Companies like Boeing, Lockheed, Northrop, Blue Origin. There are so many companies out there that are doing huge things behind the curtains, right? When you look at the $2.9 billion contract, we see that SpaceX actually beat out Blue Origin, Lockheed, and Northrop Grumman. Now I see a lot of people looking at Tesla and saying, you know what, Tesla is gonna be the biggest company in the world. They're gonna overtake NASA. And I truly believe that because their business model is so multifaceted. But what people don't talk about is SpaceX. We're building rockets to go to space. We're taking our astronauts to go to space. We're going to the moon and solving huge problems, right? And, and that's what we see. But guess what? Why did Boeing buy stock in Virgin Galactic? Exactly, hypersonic flight. In five to 10 years, the planes as we see them are going to change. And we're gonna be into a world of hypersonic flight where you can go from one point to another point in 40 minutes instead of a day. We already have that technology. And guess who is the leader in that technology? Yep, 
SpaceX. They're the only private company on a global stage being truly successful. They're the ones with the contract and who have been successful to take our astronauts from American soil to the space station. They're the ones with the $2.9 billion contract for the lunar landing. And all this success is just going to propel them farther, faster. Now let's take a step back again and talk manufacturing. When you look at that Starship, that Starship is not composite. That Starship is stainless because you're going into harsh environments on Mars, right? And there's no gas station to change things up. You need to go from that point and you need to take off again. So we're dealing with a complex stainless structure on the outside of this Starship. When you look at the engine, when you look at the heat, when you look at all the different parts, we're dealing with aerospace grade materials, Monel, Inconel, A286, titanium, that represent just a few of the materials that we actually machine often in the aerospace industry. So we're talking complex, crazy parts, out of insane materials and because elon says he wants to do a thousand starships blue origin is doing rocket after rocket after rocket and as stated all these other companies are building crazy space vehicles behind closed doors there's an absolute need for vendors who can machine parts complete to spec at a low price now low doesn't mean cheap low means efficiency in the manufacturing process. How do we take a complex metal? What types of tools do we use? How do we take our surface foot to another level? How do we take our MRR material removal rate to another level to make this part perfect in a short amount of time and pass that savings on to our customers, right? And when you pass those savings on to your customers, you become family with that customer. You're the vendor that's solving their manufacturing problems and that's a good place to be. Now my advice to you, no matter what level you're on, educate yourself on the aerospace industry. Educate yourself on SpaceX, on Blue Origin, on all these different companies. Start watching our YouTube videos because we teach you the process to actually make insane aerospace parts. We're teaching you Inconel, we're teaching you Monel, titanium machine on a high level, and you can bank the speeds and feeds that we actually give you and use them in your quotes to manufacture your parts and make money in this industry. Now, another thing that I'll say is if you're smaller and you're just starting out, again, Watch the videos and watch all the tips and tricks that we're showing on a daily basis. We're showing you how to do it so you can impress the right people and get that work. Now, here is one of the most important things that you need to know exists in this world, okay? If you want to manufacture on a high level, if you want to quote those materials, if you want your young people to understand what is Monel, what is 400 compared to K500, what is Hasselblad, what are the ingredients, how do you machine it, how do you drill it, how do you mill it, if you want to know all of it, if you want to understand the process, guess what? You have a secret weapon and it is aerospaceacademy.com. It is an academy that we put together to give you the resources to be successful in aerospace manufacturing. Boom. In future videos, I'll talk more about the Aerospace Academy, where it's going. We'll look at SpaceX, we'll look at all these different companies, and we'll show you how to secure that work, how to compete, and how to put food on your tables. Manufacturing, aerospace is going to Mars, baby. Boom. You guys have a great day. SpaceX, good luck. I love you guys. Boom.